Hey everybody, welcome back. Marcus Graves back again with another reaction to The Haunting of Hill House, this time to episode 5, The Bent Neck Lady. Let's get on into it. Jeez. Right? Why a locket of just those two and not her other children? Of course, she may have physical mementos of the other children as well. Do you ever see anything during these episodes? Mm-hmm. Uh, is this her man? The one that she's got married to? I can't... Like I said, it's been a while since the computer issues. I can't remember what he looked like. What now, Dr. Vance? Oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a sleep tech. But then what now, Mr. Sleep, sleep tech? Sleep tech. <laughs> Do you drink coffee? Uh, yeah, I... Would you like to get some, baby? Are you asking me if I want to get coffee? It's, uh, it's for the health history section. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 don't. I, misread I was that. planning on waiting until the end of your visit to ask you out for coffee. So yes, this is her man. Now the question was always, what in the world happened to him? All right, sleep tech. Never mind. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Clench your fist. Fizz. Good. That's horrifying. Just sleep paralysis. Watch. Any second now. It's taking her forever. <laughs> Still speculating that the Dudleys uh, know something. They have to. Stop. They have to have some impact on this story, some way, shape, or form. So can I keep it? Yes, I'm sure it's fine that you keep the tea set. I broke a mug once. I'm not opposed to have things that are fragile. <laughs> uh, I'm not and opposed to have. <laughs> Use your cup of stars. Insist on your cup of stars. Is it me, or did her response to her seem a lot different than her response to the other children? She's always seemed more, more regimented and strict. And that's to take care of this house, to fix it. We take care of the house, it takes care of us. Great job it did. Are you okay? Migraines. I have a steel poker in my head, and my daughter... You know what? She's in a mood. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> Polar Express. <laughs> Come home now. Same thing the mother said to Luke last episode. This was not the time or place. Not the time or place. I confronted my brother. Not Just wrong. Like told me to. Front. I, I drove to Ojai, and, and I called him out. <laughs> well, your symptoms, or, or Arthur, it always comes back to one thing. And I think that if you were to look at it today after all these years... Oh, is this what's in her back carpets. in the first place? I mean, no one probably get more into this during the review, but remember how I mentioned how Mrs. Dudley seemed more into Nell and supportive of her than she has with the other children? Can't help but think that that's something. Particularly why she's been touched as much as she has with, with the spirits, with the apparitions, with the ghosts. The Seven. Showing further connection of the twin thing. Luke taught her the seven, yes, but also the thing of uh, 
Both of them are seeking unity in some sort of way. <laughs> Was that Luke? I couldn't, couldn't exactly tell it looked like Luke. Jeez. Think we've had a rough night. I was waiting God, his for eyes. You. Not even how striking they are, because you guys know I've said that in previous things. More how harrowed he looks. Just how terrified. doing these things. You know your dad. I'm sorry. And I and also keeping with the theme of last episode, the breaking it's, of I need the you to family, the breaking of unity. She's seeking it's for it, can't get it. So That was a cool ass transition. Okay. Damn. Okay. Sitting there for almost 12 hours? Shit. Hell House. Oh, there's the graffiti on the wall. Who put it there? The father, maybe? I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drive to Orlando and get a flight to LA. The lights like Luke saw. Oh, also, like, I'll leave the porch light on. Or I'll. Or I'll flash it twice. What happened to you now? Are we gonna see? She's writing backwards. I wonder how close Luke is to death. Especially because these spirits have always been presented, they've always seen them as horrific things but like with Nell, we know she's about to die soon and now it's presented to her as something appeasing as something soothing as she's close to death and the bowler ghost turned into their mother with luke last episode bowler mm. man Yeah, Luke is close. After last episode, she sees him on the ceiling. His kid version is walking up with her. And this is where her mother said, make sure you take those down or somebody gets caught in there. It's time to wake up, sweetheart. Mm. It's been her. Okay, I try to gather things. <laughs> about this episode. Let's just go for the uh for the main thing. That the bent neck lady that she's been seeing has been her. Which conveys that she's been on a path for this. Once they because it was happened the first night, once they stepped foot on uh in this house, that was her path. It would also stand to reason, it seemed and it seems to be conveyed, that her proximity and has to be close, not not Shirley, Stephen, Theo, close, but Luke, close, Arthur, close, maybe her mother, that she says the bent neck lady killed Arthur. And it seems to be the case. Yes, he had the aneurysm, but of course, you know, we know that things have been, they've been playing with, is it a supernatural event? Is it the natural event? Uh, uh, the only thing, of course, that would seem to convey different, obviously, is his neck taking the same shape. And then she sees Luke on the ceiling. His neck didn't look particularly bent, if I remember correctly. But the, still, the fact that he's close to death, and I speculated during the episode about the bowler ghost becoming the, uh, the mother, she, uh, her walking into the Hill House and seeing such soothing, comforting imagery. And as she's uh, going up the staircase, you see that may have been Abigail. That's Abigail's the ghost that... Uh, Luke has been seeing, Bent Neck Lady is the one that she's been seeing, and he said Mommy and Abigail were playing in the red room. That wasn't Mommy. We see those, and even though she didn't have a hand in killing Arthur, same way the dog was barking at Luke, not at the ghost, is there something about that's on them, that, that, that's in their proximity, maybe even specifically the twins, that is in their proximity or that anyone within that proximity, very, very tightly close, 
is horribly undone by it. Out of all the siblings, they've been, they've been the ones that have been seeking some sort of unity. No, seeking just the support and the belief of her siblings and of her parents. You know, you have to believe me. It's the Bentnick lady. You don't believe me. Luke also searching for someone who can, if not empathize, uh, then to just connect in a sense because they see, uh, I mean, it's happened. Luke, Shirley, Theo, they've all experienced something, but they're the closest ones to it. Nell and Luke, particularly Nell, as we saw. And I know it has to go back to Mrs. Dudley. Well, maybe not Mrs. Dudley herself specifically, but something like that, that, mm, 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 no, something off about all that whole situation. <laughs> Something's just off about how the difference, how, and how she treated the other kids, yet, uh, yet, yet how she focused on Nell, something. And there's something, whatever is happening in that house, whatever, uh, supernatural occurrences are happening, Nell was the main focus. Come home now. Welcome home now. Written backwards. You know what's funny? Out of, out of all the creepy imagery, the bent neck lady, the bowler man, the, uh, Nell with Steve screaming in his face. Theo with the, uh, the smiling man. What would, what did the child call it? Mr. Smiley. Her writing welcome home backwards was like, that's one of, that's the most unsettling thing ever. <laughs> that is, <laughs> I don't, and I don't particularly understand why. Maybe because with supernatural things, you, you're kind of expecting something extraordinary. Something as ordinary as writing and seeing it go backwards is just it's funny how that's one of the most unsettling images <laughs> so far in this show one more small little thing that i wanted to bring up before i bring this to a close steel poker in my head what the mother said before that's something that happened to the hills long ago and she also called it last episode when she was talking to her husband about somebody taking the spill you better take those ropes down and everything like that husband didn't listen well to be fair to him Seeing as how things in that house happened pretty quickly from the first night to when the mother committed suicide, uh, he probably didn't have a whole heck of a lot of time. So, to be fair to him. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're so inclined. Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there, reactions, breakdowns, all that good stuff that's on there. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.